Hey everyone, welcome to another video review. This is the Nendoroid number 2244 Ikio Kita from Bochi the Rock. You can see it there in front of the box. Go ahead and put it off the side real quick. And uh, yeah, you got Bochi, or <laughs> you got Bochi the Rock uh, kind of a logo right up here on the, if I can get this just, just slightly, yep. Got it there. You got Good Smile Company. You got a picture of Kita right there. You're holding a guitar, looking all happy. And, and sail outside Japan only because I guess that's what they do now. You got her name in, uh, in Japanese and in English right there. On top, you have um, another pose of her. On the side, you have a couple more poses. On this side, you have a couple more poses. On the bottom, of course, you have another pose and a barcode. And on the back, you have more poses and warnings and copyrights and what all that stuff. And it's all ages 15 and up for, and so not for children. And of course, it comes with the booklet, you know, instructions for in both Japanese and in English. You can see, yep, Gyokita in both, in both uh, languages there. So, Kita, Ikio Kita, or she prefers to be called Kita Kita because she really hates her first name. <laughs> she really hates her first name. So anyway, getting a zoomed in here. It's going to show some, some uh, details. Uh, yeah, you can see there. She's got a red hair, of course. Uh, her uh, green eyes. Got a little uh, side um, bit of hair right there. Of course, you guys she got her uniform, the brown with the red bow and the gold buttons. Got a bit of black trim there. White undershirt. Uh, the black blouse. Not blouse, black skirt. What the hell am I saying? And, of course, yeah, little brown shoes, the socks and everything. On the back, well, there's not much of here. Not much. It's just... Uh, Got the well, he's got that this bit there. Of course, you can see the stand, which, yep, it's got the this particular style because well, it's got going under the hair, all stuff. It's pretty, you know, pretty straight, straightforward. And endo stand, although mine on the joints on mine are really tight, so I'm gonna I was gonna go ahead and try to loosen these screws a little just a smidge because it's a little tighter than I like. It's a little scary, too. So, uh, yep, that's uh, some of the close up stuff, but yeah. Overall, she looks pretty good. Yeah, my only real complaint actually really is the uh, stand is a little tighter than I like, but um, yeah, she does look good overall. Um, it's weirdly enough, this is this is removable. I guess probably just because for I don't know, that's removable. You don't need to remove for anything at least at this point, but you know it's removable. I guess you can do something with that. Maybe swap her and Bochi's hairs hair bits. I would actually look if that's possible. Yeah, that's um, pretty straightforward. And of course, also what's straightforward is uh, her um, posability, heads on a ball joint. So you got left and right, you got up and down. You do have a kind of a sort of waggle thing because it's that weird hinge ball joint thing they do. You know, you got the shoulders can go forward and back. You got a, a bicep swivel. The hands can swivel. There is a waist swivel, but it's limited due to the sculpting. And uh, down here at the hips, of course, again, like I said, this is way tighter than it should be. Um, the hips can go forward and back, and of course there's, it's like the hinge thing, so you also got rotation, and if you uh, rotate it just right, you can also make them go out to side to side instead. So there's all that. And there you go, that's, that's the posability, which is pretty standard for an Enderoid. Nothing super amazing, but it's there. So there you go on that front. Now before I get into accessories, I'm going to show her off uh, real quick, just a quick, quick comparison. Her uh, bandmate, of course, uh, Bochi herself. Hitori Goto, whatever you want to call her. Hitori-chan. <laughs> there they are so far. The two of the four. And already, at this point, as, as of this review, already got a uh, payment request. Already got payment request for uh, Niji, Nijika, Nijika. So, uh, you know. They're coming fast. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, of course, beyond the figure, because it's an Android, there's a whole bunch of other accessories. Including, let's see. Microphone stand. With, complete with microphone. With the microphone head picked out in silver. I got that. Two alternate faces, one with the closed eyes and one with the well, very excited face. Right there. You have this extra little stand piece right here, which on multiple joints, you know, it's got a hinge there and a hinge here and a little ball joint there and there's a little ball joint at the base. And that is for, if I can get my hands on it. This is a little Kitan. Basically, when she's exuding a lot of uh, extrovert energy, she has, of course, her guitar, nice, nice shade of blue, all that stuff picked out 
you know, a little bit, all that stuff. And it even has little flowers on the guitar strap, which is nice. There's even some detail on the back side of the guitar, which is real cool. There's all that. She has her phone, you know, including the little case, the carrying case, I guess. And of course, yeah, and even has details like the camera bit right there. That's very important for Kita because also it has the phone on the selfie stick. Right there. Oh, yeah, and of course, the extra neck joint just in case something goes wrong. She has, let's see, an alternate right arm, which is a slight bend with a pick, and it comes with a hand with a pick in it for the guitar. Another alternate right hand, more of a bend with this as a closed fist. A left arm with a kind of open hand for gripping the guitar. I have a little right hand that's kind of a pointing, waving kind of finger. Uh, left hand for uh, also holding the, one of the phones. I'll show that in a bit. And uh, this left hand, which has got a little well, hole in it for holding the uh, selfie stick. So there's, there's all the accessories she comes with. And of course, swapping stuff around is pretty simple. Well, of course, you get the hair in the fa face. You just, you know, slide the front of the hair off like usual. Slide the face out. Put another face in. And slide the hair back on. And there you go. Now she's raring to go <laughs> and of course yeah you can take this piece and uh put that in and then this thing can slot in i want to do that and yeah you can do this however you want kind of it's supposed to be kind of like that so you go like that done that whole thing like, and of course, yeah, the uh, hands are, of course, swappable. It's straightforward like that. Swap them. Like, yeah, this one can hold the selfie stick. It's a little bit of a tight fit, unfortunately. <laughs> so I'm a little worried about that over time, but, you know, she can. Use your selfie stick, if you like. <laughs> you can do that. Yeah, again, that's a very tight fit. A little too tight, in my opinion. I don't like that. I'm worried about, you know, breakages or, well, paint coming off. I'd be a little worried about that over time, but so far it hasn't been a problem. Um, let's see. Uh, you, of course, this hand, like I said, this particular hand, there's kind of two difference between the two. You can see these two hands are a bit different. This one is for the phone, although it's kind of a, not the greatest grip. This one is, I wish this grip was tighter, but it can hold the phone. Oh, yeah, like I said, it's uh, supposed to grip hard on that, but it doesn't grip super great. Get in there. Come on, Kita, work with me. Key is not cooperating on this one today. There you go. Yeah, you kind of have to grip it at the actual, actual, actual phone, but if you try to grip it by the case, it doesn't work. And it's not a super great connection. It's uh, very tenuous. So be careful once you put that in there. You know, there's that. Of course, uh, just going to swap this back. And of course, the other, uh, the other hands are you know pretty straightforward. Just pop those, pop that out. this one in and again the elbows you got this one which you're supposed to kind of yeah for the I guess Kitan you're supposed to you know have her excited this this elbow is also a little stubborn but yeah you're supposed to kind of uh yeah do that something more like that <laughs> but not you know pop the Kitan out of the Kitan out of the thing, but yeah, kind of she's supposed to look like that, you know, raring to go. But yeah, that's that's the other elbow. Just trying to, yeah, this one on mine. This one goes in 
a little tight. I don't I don't like it that. I don't like how uh, tight that goes in because it scares me because I don't want to, you know, bend the peg or anything. But of course, here's the other slightly, you can see this has a bit of different bend to it. And yeah, getting the guitar on, pretty straightforward. You have to actually take the head off. And they tell you to take the arm off too, but you don't have to. Just gotta just loop it around. Just be careful. Of course, rotate this, ha this left hand so she can actually hold the guitar neck. And then, yeah, just got to get that all positioned right. So now she can play guitar, and of course, of course, she can start sing. And there you go with that stuff. I don't know why it's suddenly so uh, off because before is no, that's why it's floating a bit because of the <laughs> the stand itself is too tight. There we go. It's a lot closer. But yeah, so now she can you know play guitar and sing and all that stuff. And there you go. There's all accessories pretty much. Well, for most part, um, yeah. There we go. Again, she can you know sing with Ochi and eventually you know eventually she'll have Nijika and Rio and all that stuff. So yep. Uh, actually, I just I'm gonna check real quick because you can do some silly things here, I guess. But I need to double check if these are compatible. I said I was gonna do it, so I'm gonna do it. There we go. Yeah, it is pretty much compatible. A little scared of it because yeah, it's very thin peg, but yeah, <laughs> you can swap those around. Not sure what good that does you, but I guess you can goof off possibly. If Nijika's Dorito is uh, swappable, oh boy, that's gonna be a fun time. Yeah. Overall, uh, Kita is a pretty solid one. Um, I don't have any real issues with looseness. All of those joints are tight. And unfortunately, some of them are a little too tight on mine. Uh, again, the stand arm is way too tight. Um, I kind of wish the right uh, elbow wasn't so tight. It's a little tight on like and makes it a little scary to kind of put the switch the arms around. But everything else seems to hold pretty well. Uh, it's all pretty straightforward and yeah, the only thing is I wish this I wish the microphone stand was a little bit adjustable But it's not it's it's a static piece, but I understand why it's like that You know, it's kind of a little a lot more money to make this multiple, you know, like hinged or adjustable or whatever but Pretty decent accessory. Oh, yeah, the only other thing is the phone accessory doesn't hold in very well, unfortunately But other than that, it's pretty darn solid overall. Uh, cost me what? Shipping from Japan and everything cost me about, what, something like $60? So, good deal, I think, overall. And, of course, if you want the complete Kesaku band, you got to get Kita with along with Satori and uh, Nijika and Ryo and all that stuff. And, of course, now they're Kikuri and uh, Sayaka are both uh, been up for order. And it wouldn't surprise me. I think pa San's supposed to be showing up soon. It's supposed to go up for pre-order soonish. So, yeah, they're, they're doing, like, a large chunk of the character. So, there you go. She's a good she's a good uh, Nendoroid and... Uh, Quite pleased with her, and um, yeah. And down the line, we're also going to have the, the face pack for uh, the rest of the band. They have the face pack for Hotori, and then have the face pack for the rest of the band, so that'll be interesting. So yeah, if you're into Bochi the Rock, she's a good buy. That's straightforward. So this, re this review, I hope you found it informative and entertaining. Hope you like, comment, subscribe. Check out my social medias down in the description and at the end of the video. Check out my coffee and my Patreon. I shall see you next time with another video review.